I have VirtualBox already installed here on my Windows computer and I have the software up and running. Now what I want to do is create a virtual machine to run my Ubuntu operating system here. So I'm going to go ahead and click New. Now I'll need to type in a name for the virtual machine. I'm just going to call it Ubuntu and I'll call it Server. It should change the type to Linux and the version should also be Ubuntu 64-bit. If it's not, you can manually change those as well. I'm going to go ahead and hit Next. I'm going to recommend probably at least 1024 megabytes, which is equivalent to one gigabyte of RAM for this virtual machine. 768 would have also worked, but I like to add just a little bit more to it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Next. And I will need a hard drive, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Create. And I will use the default VDI disk image. This is VirtualBox disk image. So I'll just go ahead and hit Next. The dynamically allocated option will allow the hard drive to grow in size as I need it up until the limit that I put on it. So that's the preferred way. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And the size right now that it's going to grow up to is 8 gigabytes. That's a little small. It will work for just a server version, but I usually like to either go 50 or 100 gigabytes for my virtual machines so that they can grow in size if I need them to at least up to 50 gigabytes. Make sure it also has GB at the end because if you take that out, it'll probably default back to either megabytes or kilobytes. So make sure it says 50 gigabytes. And I'll go ahead and hit Create. Now the virtual machine itself is created, but it's not installed. So I don't have a boot to install on this particular virtual machine yet. It's just set up here as a shell. And what I want to do is start it up, but I want to pick the ISO image that I have downloaded over here. And so when it first comes up, it's going to ask you where this disk is to start up or to install the operating system. And I'm going to choose the little folder here and go to my desktop and look for the Ubuntu ISO that I have downloaded. And I'll go ahead and hit open. Now all I need to do is hit start. And that's going to go ahead and start my virtual machine up using that ISO image so that I can install Ubuntu. So I can go through the whole process now of installing the Ubuntu operating system. And I do want to point out, I'm going to go ahead and close this, power off the machine, that there are settings that I can use to modify this if I wanted to. So for instance, if I wanted to load in the disk drive manually, I could have gone to storage and then under the controller for IDE, you can see an icon here for a disk. I could have selected the disk that I wanted to boot up. In this case, here's my Ubuntu 14.04 that has already been loaded in because I selected it here on startup. So I can manually add that in there as well. So this is creating a virtual machine to run Ubuntu operating system.